In today's episode, we're going to be investigating crime. This is going to demonstrate just how easy crime is. Just waiting for him to open the door. Oh, easy boys, I don't know. Oh, I know. Got a few beers, maybe a few birds. Oh, right, where else are you going? Oh, And now we're going to speak to a good representative of the British Police Force. Hello, PC Barker. I'm going to cut to the chase here. There have been allegations that some methods of law enforcement used by police have been of a violent nature. Actually, Liam, no, there haven't. Oh, come off it. You can't seriously deny that there have been allegations regarding your extreme force. Sorry, could you just hold that for one second? <laughs> Sorry, we appear to be having some technical difficulties. And now, they beat up our grannies, they steal our milk. For years, Britons have been forced to cope with youths. Statistics are at their worst showing that approximately two in one youths look like or have the characteristics of a chav. Last week we caught up with one of these chavs based in Harpenden. Here is his story. Greetings! My name is Winston and I am a Harpenden based chav. Last week I began my day by joining my head lap. And blip. This is followed by a brisk and pleasant stroll through the hood. By lunchtime, I'd acquire a search for some bad beverage, and so decided to stir my fine wine cabinet. One cannot drink on an empty stomach. With great delicacy, I place a luxurious meal upon the stove. Once finished, I lit myself an afternoon cigar, imported all the way from Luton Market. I continued my gallivant and came across some locals. I greeted them and asked for charitable donations. They of course gave generously. Before bed, I went to my favourite spot to admire some inspiring art. Thoroughly tired after my bathing day, I commenced some housework. And then, coached out for the night, ready for the next working day. Go! Next! What will happen in the future? Experts have been able to make an educated hypothesis based on the future impact of crime. In just about two years, it is expected that Wales will look something like this. In about a year, experts say Paris will be like this. In a month or so, something like this will happen to London. Seriously though, stay clear of crosses, monuments and buses, because after all, experts are experts. In three years, six months and two days, crime will be this bad. And what will be the cause of all this crime? We asked you, the people. I think the cause of crime is cartoon violence. Yeah, so it's chip shop workers. But guns don't kill people, robbers do Ask any politician and they tell you it's true It's a fact, music makes you violent Like Michael Jackson telling little Timmy to be silent You don't believe me? Here's my heart Offer me the record and I'll show you Excuse me! What is the cause of crime? Uh, it, 
Old people. Old people? The use of the die. Thank you. Get employment. And naturally, that, that's causing a lot of problems. I'm holding up a tape, the bar boy snap me my cock and balls ache So remember kids, to the head double tap Guns don't kill people, it's just rap Guns don't kill people, rap and do So what do you think is the cause of crime? Criminals, um, and, and violent music <laughs>